What's up everybody, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel Network Engineer Pro. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you've been here before, perfect, welcome back. Not everybody has a dedicated physical server running ESXi, for example, that they can just spin up an EVNG virtual machine. Many people just have a PC, probably running Windows 10, and they want a free lab environment that they can spin up a couple of routers, maybe some firewalls, learn networking, and study for certifications. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get EVNG running as a virtual machine for free on your home PC. Let's do this. Step one, download and install VMware Workstation Player. Go to your favorite web browser and search for VMware Workstation Player. VMware Workstation Player and hit enter. Go to this first link here, download VMware Workstation Player from VMware.com. So here's the main page for the VMware Workstation Player. This is where I can download this hypervisor software. If I scroll down, I'll see Try Workstation 16.0 Player for Windows, and then click the Download Now button, and it should start downloading right away. Now, while that's downloading, I wanna quickly talk about hypervisors. Now, a hypervisor is a software that allows you to create and run virtual machines. And there's two types. There's type ones and type twos. Type 1 hypervisors, aka bare metal hypervisors, they run directly on the host hardware without any underlying operating system. An example of a Type 1 hypervisor is the SXI. Type 2 hypervisors run as a software layer on top of an already existing operating system. And since we're installing VMware Workstation Player on top of my Windows 10 PC, that makes VMware Workstation Player a Type 2 hypervisor. There are a bunch more differences between the two, but I'll save that for another day. All right, perfect, the download's done. Step number two, download EVNG. To download that, I'm gonna go to the address bar and type eve-ng.net and hit enter. This is gonna take me to the EVNG main website. From here, I'm gonna go over here to download, and here are where you're gonna see a bunch of download links for EVNG. You can see here that we have EVNG Professional slash Learning Center. This is not free. If we want the free version, we're gonna to want to download the community edition. So under the community edition, you see that we have two options. We have an EVNG OVF and we have an EVNG ISO. What's the difference? The OVF is an EVNG VM, but with already set or pre-configured settings like RAM and CPU. This is gonna be the quickest way to get EVNG up and running because you don't really have to worry about customizing a lot of settings if you don't want to because it's already done. If you wanna change the settings, like maybe increase the RAM or increase CPU, you can still do that after the VM's created. The ISO is if you want full control of the VM settings like RAM, CPU, storage, and things like that from the beginning. The OVF is fine for me, so that's what I'll download. So I'll click the OVF, the Mega Mirror, and let that download. I'll go ahead and pause the video and resume once this download's done. All right, perfect, the EVNG OVF is downloaded and so is VMware Workstation. Time to install them. And I'm gonna start with VMware Workstation. So go to the folder that you downloaded the file to and double click on the VMware EXE. And here you can see the setup wizard for VMware Workstation. Click Next, accept the licensing terms, Next, I leave this as default to add the VMware Workstation Console, and I don't think I really care about the enhanced keyboard driver, so I'll click Next. If you wanna leave these boxes checked, if you want any sort of updates whenever you start the program, you can do that. I'll just hit Next, Next, Install. It'll take a few minutes to install and do its thing. Okay, perfect, the setup wizard has completed. I'm gonna click Finish down here. And now this window pops up saying I must restart my system for the configuration to take effect. So I just installed this program and I need to restart my computer. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and resume it once my computer restarts. Okay, cool, I'm back in action. My PC restarted. The EVNG OVF finished downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. So I'm gonna right click, extract here, and I'm good to go. If I open up the folder, I have some files here. What I care about right now is gonna be the OVF. So now that it's extracted, I'm ready to open up VMware Workstation Player and get this VM up and running. So the first thing I'll do is open up VMware Workstation Player. Okay, great. I'm gonna go ahead and click right over here where it says open a virtual machine. I'm gonna navigate to the folder where the EVNG OVF file is located. I'm gonna click it and then down here, I'm gonna click open. 
Now here it's asking me for a name for this new virtual machine. I'll just call it Eve NG Community Edition. And if you wanna change the storage path for the new virtual machine, I can. This is just a demo, so I'm just gonna click Import. And right now it's importing that virtual machine. All right, perfect, the VM's ready to go. VMware Workstation finished importing it. And once you do that, you can see that the state here says powered off. That's how it is once the import is done. It already detected that it was Ubuntu 64-bit. And there's some settings here like the RAM. It's already been configured with eight gigs of RAM. If I wanted to change some of the settings like increase RAM, I can do that. I click edit virtual machine settings and I can see all these settings here that are already configured because I downloaded the OVF. If I downloaded the ISO, I would need to configure RAM, processors, hard disk, and so on. Another thing I wanna mention is that under processors here, this checkbox, virtualize Intel VT, this has to be checked under the processor. Again, because I downloaded the OVF, this was already checked for me. If you downloaded the ISO, I don't think that this option is selected by default. So you're gonna run into problems if you try and power on EVNG and this is not checked. So if you download the ISO and you're configuring the settings yourself, make sure this option here is checked. I'm happy with all these settings that it has. So I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm going to click play virtual machine. We can see that it's loading. We have a nice little logo. Okay, cool. I can see that this VM was given a IP address via DHCP. I'm gonna go ahead and log in for the first time. Now the default username is root and the default password is Eve. Now this is gonna be the initial setup. So it's asking you to type the root password. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a password. Repeat the password. And if you wanna change the host name for it, you can, I'm fine with that. The DNS domain name for the system, don't really care about that. DHCP is fine for me. And if I wanted to point it to an NTP server, I could, I don't care. Direct connection, hit okay. And it's gonna go ahead and reboot. Okay, great. Once it finishes rebooting, let's go ahead and try and log into it. Okay, cool, I've logged into the EVNG virtual machine. I see here that it's gotten its IP address, Again, 192.168.1.79. The last thing I wanna do is open up a web browser and try and reach this IP address. So 192.168.1.79. All right, perfect. I've been presented with the EVNG web GUI. Now the default credentials for this are admin and then Eve, and I can change that if I wanted to. Let me go ahead and add a new lab. I'll just call it test, save, now I don't have any images here, but EVNG is successfully up and running on my Windows 10 PC. Perfect, VMware Workstation Player is up and running on my Windows 10 PC. EVNG is up and running as well, and I was able to log in and create a lab. Now I did not import any router or switch images. I do have an EVNG playlist that covers how to import various images like routers, switches, firewalls, and more. So I highly recommend checking that out. That's gonna be it for this video. If you found it helpful and think that it'll help others as well, let me know in the comments. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more networking content. Thanks everyone, have a great day and lab on.